What if you could be notified every time your competitor releases a new blog post and then have your AI agent read that blog post, spin it, and write similar content for your own website? In the SEO space, we call this a heist, and the goal is to steal your competitor's traffic as well as automatically catch up to them when they try to get ahead. This is how to do it. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Head on over to youraiagent.com, enter your name, an email address, password, re-enter your password, and then click sign up. It will drop you onto the settings page. And first you need to connect your website. We offer many integrations right now, depending on the AI agent that you want to use. We want to perform an SEO heist, so we need to connect either a blogger website, your medium.com profile, your Shopify store, your Webflow website, wordpress.com or wordpress.org. For this video, I'm going to connect Medium. So let's click on this. Now we need to name our Medium connection. I'm gonna call it West Frank Medium. Then I'm gonna click on Go to Security and Apps. Scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says Integration Tokens. Name your new token. I'm gonna to call it Your AI Agent. Click Get Token. Copy this token and paste it into the input box like so. Then I'm gonna click connect, and if everything is good, you're gonna get a notification that says your medium.com profile has been connected. So I'm gonna click okay, and if I scroll down, we see it right here. I can remove it at any point or rename it. Next, I'm gonna click on API keys. We connect with multiple large language models and image generators. My favorite is GPT-4 Omni. It's the best bang for your buck. So I'm going to click on this hyperlink, click create new secret key, create secret key, copy this key, and paste it into the input box like so. If this is your first time using a developer account for OpenAI, you have to go to settings, billing, add a valid payment method, and then credits to your account. If this is the only thing that you're gonna use it for, you do not need a ChatGPT Plus subscription. That's $20 per month. We are using their API, it is pay as you go, and you are going to save so much money. Depending on how many articles you are creating, how many competitors you are targeting, you're only gonna spend anywhere from $1 to maybe $5 per month. Okay, next I wanna connect Stable Diffusion 3 and Stable Diffusion Ultra, their latest image model. So I'm going to click on this hyperlink. This is the same thing here. You need to purchase credits for your account. $10 gives you 1,000 credits, and they say that's roughly 5,000 images. For the SEO heist, we generate one image per article, so that's 5,000 articles. And you can click on the plus button here to create a new API key, confirm the terms of service, and then copy any of these keys. I'm gonna do this one, click confirm, and then paste it into the input box like so. Next, you're gonna click on subscription. And if you don't have a subscription, it's gonna say subscribe here. I already have a subscription, so it says go to portal. It takes you to a secured Stripe checkout page. Your AI agent is $9 per month, and that covers unlimited workflows, unlimited articles, unlimited AI agents. If you are an agency, you can get as many clients as you wish under one basic plan and use it to your heart's desire. I'm trying to make this the cheapest AI agent platform on the web. Now with all the housekeeping out of the way, let's talk about the updated SEO heist. So I got a nice little badge right here that says updated. We're gonna click on this AI agent and the page has a brand new layout and we also have some cool new features. So first you're going to select your connection. I'm gonna zoom in a bit here. By default, you have your latest connection selected. So that's the West Frank medium. And now let's look at some agent info. So it says, steal your competitor's traffic by writing original articles with the same article title and keywords. Input a RSS feed URL below and have our system automatically check for new content at your chosen daily interval. All metadata and images are generated by the AI. I'm gonna click read more. So we have some tips and tricks. Text model GPT-4 Omni works best. At minimum, we'll check for new content every 24 hours. Choose the daily posting time by selecting a specific start date. You can find new RSS feeds from rssfinder.app. 
Unfortunately, Atom feeds will not work. The plugin I'm using for RSS feeds, it's not compatible with most Atom feeds. I am working on this. And this agent is set it and forget it. You never have to worry about new content ever again. I'm gonna collapse this. All right, our first step is to input an RSS feed URL. So in order for this agent to work properly, we need to test the RSS feed URL by clicking the test button below. So I'm gonna to go to rssfinder.app. I'm gonna type in medium, click search, and we have a bunch of medium.com feeds. As a web app that deals with AI agents, I think the latest stories tagged with AI make sense for my website. So I'm gonna copy the URL and I'm gonna paste it into this input box, then click the test button, and we see the five latest articles. So this one says one-time setup, long-time rewards, Evernote advanced search. One down here is getting to know Deviant Art, a great place for AI-generated art. So this is telling me it's a successful RSS feed, and we can start targeting these articles and stealing their traffic. So just some inside information, this is an RSS feed for a website. And before the latest update, we could only see the previous article's title. So here it is. This is the one that showed in your AI agent. But as you can see, there's no text about this article. It only gives us the title, some metadata. Here is the link to the article. I'm going to copy it, paste it in a new tab. There it is right here. But with no way to actually read the article, our AI agents would see the title and guess what it's about. So one can assume this is about Evernote and its advanced search feature. But if the large language model you chose to write the article didn't have updated data, it would make up information about this feature. It's good for evergreen content, information that never changes. But for up-to-date information for those type of articles, we were out of luck. But with the new Perplexity AI update, we can now read that article data, look at the content, get the key takeaway points, and use that to write our new article. This can improve the effectiveness of an SEO heist, but it is optional. You can still do it the old way, or you can do it the new way, which writes more relevant, up-to-date content. So I'm gonna turn that on, and if you don't have a Perplexity AI API key yet, it's gonna show this input box. I'm gonna head on over to perplexity.ai, click on settings, then API. I'm going to grab my API key and paste it in here. Then it's gonna say your Perplexity AI API key has been added, click OK. And now this toggle is enabled. Next, I'm gonna select my text model. We could also use GPT-4 Omni Mini. This is a little bit worse than GPT-4 Omni, but 33 times cheaper as I showed in a previous video. So this might work for your use case if you wanna save on costs. I'm gonna keep it on GPT-4 Omni. Now for the image model, I'm gonna select Stable Diffusion Ultra, their latest image model. I'm gonna keep the language on English. For the posting time, I want it to post and check for new articles every day. And the start date, I'm going to select today at 12 p.m. and I wanna publish the article every time it is written. Now for the agent prompt, I can give it some background information either about my company or the style of writing that I want. I'm just gonna put something simple that says write in a professional and clear tone. Same thing for the image prompt. I'm gonna write digital illustration. That's the style of images that I want. Now for the section links, this is either an external, internal, or affiliate link that you want at the end of your article. This can drive traffic to different areas on the web. For example, if I wanted to go to youraiagent.com, I would put in that hyperlink, and then for the link text, I'm gonna write the best AI agents on the net. Next is the hyperlink section. This is different from section links. This will actually hyperlink text within your article. Let's say every time the text mentioned your AI agent, I wanted it to link back to my website. I would type in that text, that link, click add. It would add that hyperlink right here. So now if the article mentioned this word, it would have extra hyperlinks back to my business website. For Medium, we have the option for topics. 
we can input up to five topics that will be tags on the article. This helps for exposure on the Medium platform. So I'm going to write AI, let's go technology, maybe AI news, AI agents, and I'm going to write future. Now I can click start SEO heist. It will take me to the workflows page. I can cancel this SEO heist at any time, or I can click on the info button and change any of my settings. So let's say I wanted to change the text model to GPT-4 Omni Mini. I could do it like so. I could change the image model, change the posting time, maybe now send it to draft, change the agent prompt, the image prompt, add some new hyperlinks, change the topics and tags. We can see when we're getting the next upcoming post, if there are any error logs in our workflow. This workflow ID is for support. And we can also click on view past article data, see the date it was posted, the title that we got, and the article URL. So I'm gonna click on this link. Look at this, it says Evernote. It has the Evernote logo in the image. This is absolutely astounding. And here we have an article about that new feature, wrote specifically for our Medium profile. And then the hyperlink at the end that goes back to youraiagent.com. If you wanna start an SEO heist for yourself, I'll drop a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you want to learn how to build your own AI agents for your own custom use case, I built and designed an online course called How to Build a Custom AI App. I will leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both of them in cater to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.